Hey yo, what up flockers? This is Fly here, and I'm gonna tell y'all the story about my buddy Chuck. It's called No Need for Speed. Oh wow, finally I get to read this thing. Ain't that something? Alrighty. It was a bright sunny day on Bird Island, and Chuck was bored, bored, bored. Huh. The bright yellow bird could do everything so fast that he had already done his entire to-do list and was running in circles just to pass the time. I need something to do, Chuck thought as he sped past a group of birds working. On his next pass, he slowed down and had another thought. Maybe somebody could use my help. At the beach... Chuck spotted Willow, Stella, Dahlia, and Poppy working hard on something. They were getting ready for the grand opening of the newest restaurant on Bird Island, Willow's Healthy and Wholesome All-Organic Cafe. Boy, that's a mouthful. <clears throat> they definitely looked like they could use some help. Chuck zipped over to Willow, who was pacing by the entrance. She looked like she wanted to pull her cap down over her head and hide inside it. How are we ever going to get everything done in time? She worried out loud. Ooh, ooh, I know! Chuck jumped up and down. You can let me help! Willow looked at Chuck. Then she looked at how many things were still left to do before they could open. She looked back at Chuck. Okay, she finally agreed. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm hired! Chuck whooped. Before Willow could tell Chuck where she wanted him to start, he raced inside. Typical Chuck. Jumping before doing something. Before being told what to do. <clears throat> Chuck found Dahlia in the kitchen. She was testing recipes for worm and fruit smoothies. Yeah, okay. I know you humans probably don't like the sound of that, but uh, I think it sounds pretty decent being a bird and everything. Hey, Chuck, she said. You're just in time to taste my new creation. But Chuck didn't want to taste. He wanted to work. Chuck pushed past Dahlia and started to crank the blender. He whirled the smoothie faster than they had ever been whirled before. The lid flew off the blender and smoothie goop flew up and out. It flew onto the floor, it flew onto the walls, it flew all over Dahlia. Stop! Dahlia screamed. Chuck, you need to slow down. Smoothie dripped from off her beak. And you need to find somebody else to help. Yeah, Chuck's need for speed can get him in trouble. Believe me, I know. Chuck shook off the goo and ran back outside. It would be easier to find someone else to help. He f he heard pounding and saw Stella busily building a takeout window for hungry birds on the go. This is where birds can get their fresh food fast, Stella explained. All they have to do is step up to the counter, place their order, and then they can pick up their food at the next window. Hmm, fast food restaurants in a nutshell. <laughs> Chuck knew what it was like to be in a rush. He was practically an expert. Ooh, let me give it a test run, he shouted. Oh boy, let's see him mess this one up. No, Chuck, wait! Stella shouted back, but it was too late. Chuck had already gotten a run and start. He dashed up to the order counter and slapped his wing down, ready to place an order. But the counter wasn't attached yet. It toppled over and broke. Chuck brushed off the rubble and hurried, hurried toward the pickup window. He was in such a rush that he tripped on a root, stumbled into a wheelbarrow, and careened into a pile of lumber. Jeez Louise, Chuck. Chuck looked at the mess. He gathered as much of the splintered wood as he could and propped it all back up. Ta-da! He waved a wing at the rickety structure. Uh, Chuck. 
which collapsed in a heap on top of Stella. Stella struggled out of the junk jumble and brushed herself off. She gave Chuck a hard look. You need to slow down, Chuck. I think I'll handle this pickup by myself. Stella looked so angry that Chuck didn't bother to protest. He slunk back inside. There had to be some other way for him to help. Well, there's always ways to help, but you just gotta learn to, like they said, slow down. In the dining room, Poppy was busy engineering a one-bird band. She had decorated a corner of the room like a stage and was planning to entertain customers solo on her new multi-instrument. The instrument was not like nothing Chuck had ever seen. It was a saxophone, keyboard, drum kit, pan flute, and banjo combined. Dang, no wonder she's the bird of music. Her musical creation looked super cool and super complicated. Let me get that for you, Chuck offered. In an instant, he had the enormous contraption on his back and was ready to give it a whirl. Wait, not so fast, Poppy protested. Oh boy, he's going to screw this one up too. But it was already too late. Chuck pushed and poked and pulled and plucked and blasted everything all at once. There was an ear-splitting racket and parts flew in all directions. Poppy ducked and covered her ears. When the dust settled, all that was left on Chuck's back was a tiny whistle. I can put this back together in a jiffy. Chuck said, zipping his way, zi zipping this way and that, gathering the parts. Poppy pointed to the back door. In other words, she's telling you to get out. <sighs> With a sigh, Chuck stepped outside. He really, really, really wanted to help. He spotted a sign that someone had been painting and to hang over the restaurant entrance. It was propped up and nobody was working on it. Chuck zoomed over. Now this could be a job for me, he thought. He grabbed a brush and began painting. Slap! Dash! Splash! Oh boy, this'll go totally well. Not. No! Willow shouted when she saw the mess Chuck had made. You have to let it dry, Chuck! You've got to slow down! I was just trying to help, Chuck sighed. If you help us any more, we'll have to close before we even open, Willow said. Gloomy, gloomily, Chuck sped off. He felt terrible. Ah, Chuck, when will you learn to listen? Chuck watched from afar as the girls worked through the night. When the sun rose, the restaurant was ready for its grand opening. Every bird in town was ready to try Willow's food. Flocks of birds waited to get a perch at the counter. Dozens more lined up at the takeout window. Willow and her friends could not keep up. They were tired after working all night and moving slowly. Chuck watched Stella working her wings off and, sh and stifling her yawns as the line gr outside got longer and longer. Oh boy, not good, of course. Inside, Dahlia welcomed customers and waited on tables, but the customers just waited. Poor Willow was swamped in the kitchen. She was whipping up food as fast as she could, but it wasn't fast enough. She was running out of ingredients and the dishes were piling up. Poppy was doing her best to keep the hungry birds entertained, but the customers were getting cranky and started, complain started to complain. Soon the birds were complaining so loudly that Chuck could not stay away. He didn't just want to help, he had to. Oh, and here's where Chuck's super speed comes into play, for the right reasons. In a flash, Chuck raced around the island, gathering ingredients along the way. Then before then, before he zoomed into the kitchen, he remembered the girl's words. You've got to slow down, they told him. Chuck took a deep breath and cut his hustle. 
he delivered the ingredients and cleaned the dishes at half speed, which was still faster than any other bird. When he was done with the dishes, Chuck took full plates to the birds in the dining room. He felt like he was moving in slow motion, but was still so quick the customers barely noticed him. Ooh, was he doing Chuck time or bullet time? <laughs> Soon, every bird inside Willow's Cafe was dining happily. But outside, the lines were still huge, and Willow still wasn't sure what to do about the crowds. There's, There's just not enough room in the restaurant to serve everyone, she worried. Luckily, Chuck had an idea. Ooh, what's it gonna be? The next day, everything at Willow's Cafe ran much more smoothly, and every customer was happy and relaxed. Thanks to Chuck's speedy delivery service, Willow provided the fastest, healthy, wholesome, all-organic food on the island in a flash. And that helped everyone slow down. Thanks for the help, Chuck, Willow tweeted as Chuck sped by with a delivery in his beak. We couldn't have done it without you. Huh. And that's the end. Well, what you guys think? Did I Was I a good enough narrator for this story? I sure hope so. And hopefully the ones about red and the blues and bomb will, will um, come into, um, you know, will be out soon. In the meantime, though, this has been Fly saying goodbye, YouTube fans, and have an awesome day.